Good day! I'm Matt. And I'm Rabia. This is Sounds Like on Anderton's TV. Today, we're going to be trying to sound like the awesome Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah. I'm just... I'm you, gonna try. You've got to play it. Yeah, I'm gonna try. So, yeah. Everyone should know who he is. If you don't, check him out or listen on. Iconic. He was an iconic blues player, blues guitarist, blues rock guitarist. And just renowned for his... He was renowned for playing 13 gauge strings with an action of like half a centimetre or something yeah, ridiculous, yeah, yeah. like massive, like man's hands. And uh, just got beautiful straight tones. He was massively famous for doing his own version of Little Wing, which was massive. Yeah, yeah. He did a few Hendrix covers. Yeah. And I think was really, really heavily influenced by Hendrix. Yeah. But um, he had quite the setup as well, like a really. Dumbles. Well, yeah, Dumbles, Fenders, Marshalls. Um, so we're not going to be able to get all of it. So we're going to have to try and see what we can do. So we'll go check it out. Yeah. To be honest, fifteen hundred pound budget, you can't get a dumbbell. You can't even get yeah. a dumbbell badge for fifteen hundred quid. <laughs> but we'll do our best. We will. All right. So the question at hand, Matthew, is: Are we doing classic vibe or are we doing Mexican strat? So Stevie Ray Vaughan, he played a '60s strat with '50s pickups, mm -hmm. 1959 pickups, stock pickups. They were. He called it '59. It wasn't actually a '50s guitar. Um, so yeah. I mean, if it's a 50, if he uses 50s pickups, then classic vibe, 50s classic vibe would be better. Yeah. Um, but then there are Mexican straps that are very good as well. So yeah, he does have a signature as well, as worth mentioning. But that is 1,700 pounds. So not going to happen on its own. It trashes our budget. Yeah. Let's check out the Mexican classic stuff. Yeah. It's rosewood as well. <laughs> Right, look. Okay. While Matt's gone off to find the price of that Mexican 60s strat with a rosewood fretboard, I thought we may as well look over at the Classic Vibe stuff. As you know, I'm always singing the praises of Classic Vibe Squire stuff because for the money you get a massive amount of guitar. Uh, so, so this is the 50s. We've used this countless times. Not this one, but we've used the guitar just like this countless times. And 50s pickups. It's got the sort of more orange kind of faded maple neck, but he used a rosewood board. So unless they've got the same sort of classic vibe with a rosewood board, I mean, this wouldn't be ideal, but the pickups would be on point here. And it's, three, it's 398 pounds, so we're saving a massive amount of budget by getting a classic vibe. This is the classic vibe 60s. How's that? And it's 398 pounds. Okay, this is 776. Okay, so so this is nearly 800, which would leave us 700 for everything else. That would leave us with 1,100 for everything else. I'd say go with the classic vibe because we've got to get pedals, we've got to get we've got to get tube screamer, we've got to get a wire pedal, we've got yeah. to get a good amp, and there's a lot to get. So there is, yeah. I think we better do that. Because I was going to get the 50s, but it's got a maple neck, so maple board, so that's why 60s. Right, cool. Well, it was 59, which is pretty much 60s. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, should we go with the 60s classic vibe? I think we should. Okay. It's really busy in the it's store. It's really busy. It's like summer and it's loud and busy. So we've come to the quiet area. Yeah, to discuss amps. Now, we've picked a guitar that costs 400 quid, which is great. Um, which leaves us 1,100 pounds for everything else. We do know we need a tube screamer. We do, a TS9. Yeah, or a, well, just for the record, for those who say TS9, he used a TS808 and then a 9 when it came out and then a 10 when it came out. Mm. So we're just probably going to go for a tube screamer um, as yet undecided. But also a Vox Wah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably like a couple of hundred quid. Yep. Which does mean we probably have about eight or nine hundred pounds left for our amp which means we can get quite a good one. Because there was the Dumble, the Marshall, the Fenders, which funnily enough, the Dumble and the Marshalls were apparently for cleans, yeah. and the Fenders were for the dirt, so... Which is the opposite of what you'd expect. Well, it's the opposite of what I would do. Yeah. Uh, There's a DeVille, four by 10. Yeah, Princeton, 
Yeah. It's basically like a hot rod. Well, and, it's, and it's a blues based amp. Yeah, it's the, so it's kind of like, it's in the same sort of league as the hot rod deluxe, but it's for the blues players, I suppose. It's the blues deluxe. Mm -hmm. Blues version of the hot rod, essentially. Because looking at the control panel, it's pretty much the exact same layout as a hot rod deluxe. Mm -hmm. Which makes me think it's only very mildly tuned differently for blues players. So we could go with that. And it's £719, so that's like pretty decent. With Fender amps, it's kind of like you go up to about five, six hundred pounds, seven hundred pounds, and then suddenly it's like thirteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What should we go? I think this yeah, is probably it's gonna try. We're gonna take a punt and we're gonna go with the all tweed blues deluxe. Okay, we need a an Ibanez tube screamer of sorts. We do. Yeah. And a Matt, as Matt rightly pointed out, he's used them all. He has used them all. So I, I was saying TS9 because that's what I'd seen most of, but actually TS808 reissue, if we can get one. We can get one, I think. And they're about £170. Okay. And we have a little bit of budget, I think. Yes. Um, so that, and we need a Voxoir. We need a Voxoir. And do you think that'll get us about there? Yes, because we're going to use the drive on the amp with a bit of tube screamer in there, reverb on the amp, Voxwire. I think that's it. Mm. I think that's about as good as we need, and the rest is in the, the fingers, fingers that aren't mine, the yeah. Stevie's, worst Stevie's. Hopefully, we can borrow them or summon them. Okay, we'll try some of them. I think borrowing them would be a bit weird. Let's go see. Okay, bye. Video room. I was right? slightly overexcited from my part. That was, you almost fell off your chair. I did. We are in the video room once again, trying to sound like Stevie Ray Vaughan. It's a fairly simple rig we've gone for anyway. Um, yeah. And hopefully it's got us close. I think it's the, the key components are there, so. Again, we always say this at the beginning, whenever Matt's doing rhythm, we always tell you what he's using. Yeah. And what are you using? What am I using? I'm using a uh, Pete Honore signature um, Fender strap. We asked his permission before we did this video as well, so he was really nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about Steve Ray Vaughan's rig. Okay. Well, the guitar, we've used these many a time because we love them, because they're very, very good for the money. Really good. At £398, I believe. This is the Fender uh, Squire Classic Vibe, and this is the 60 strap. Before you kill us, and obviously you know we've picked it already, but this is the 60s, he actually played a 60s with 50s pickups. Yeah. 1959 pickups. He called it 59, but it was a 60s. Mm. So we've kind of got the 60s guitar, pickups are more 60s than 50s. I'm wondering whether the 50s voice pickups from the classic vibe 50s would have got us closer. I don't know. The it's hard to say. The reason we didn't get the 50s classic vibe was because there was only maple fretboards mm. available. So we thought, the Rosewood was... let's go Rosewood. <laughs> But then, on the other end of the spectrum, that's running into a, 70, a 719 pound amplifier. Yeah. Which is the Blues Deluxe reissue. Yeah, by Fender as well. So it's, again, it's the Fender Fender combo, mm -hmm. which we use, ended up using quite a lot in. It's a the old Tweed, guys. yeah. It's, it's the old Tweed cabinet, and it's basically the Blues version of the Hot Rod Deluxe. Mm. Same, similar kind of price point. But as Matt pointed out earlier, I mean, Steve, Stevie Ray Vaughan used Dumbles, Marshalls, yeah. Fenders. Well, yeah, because and a whole range of cabinets. He used fenders for his um, like overdrive sound, and then yeah. uh, Marshalls and Dumbles for his cleans. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we we kind of went rather than go the Marshall direction, we went the Fender for a bit yeah. of more high gain stuff, I guess. Um, but the Tube Screamer, which is we've got the TS9, yes. which is, was apparently his like mainstay in a lot of the eighties. Um, however, he did love the TS808, which we have here also. Um, very, very similar, of course. 
But there's not much in it, is there? There isn't. Yeah. But it, so a lot of people think he used the TS eight oh eight, but it was from like photographs from gigs and insurance mm. documents and stuff. That led everyone to believe it was a TS nine. So we've gone for that. Yeah. That's what we've done. <laughs> wire and it's the standard wire that they do and it's just a beast I mean we used it on the sound like Jimi Hendrix recently which thank you very much for all the kind words on that one yeah thanks um, yeah we did that we used the Vox wire on that and it sounded great so we we got it again because he actually uses that because obviously he's a huge Hendrix fan as well yeah. and this is this is the Vox standard wire they do mm. it like a cheaper one which doesn't have the chrome yeah but um, and then they do the, the hand wired one that's the do. middle one yeah I should mention, uh, you'll see the settings, uh, we'll put the settings up on the screen, but you'll see that we're actually using the drive channel on the amp, mm. and the gain is really not very high, it's just enough to get a bit of bite, so, and we're using the inbuilt reverb, yep. and obviously you can see everything else, so I'll give you the tones straight in. No, but it's root, it's just enough so that when you dig in, you get you get that nice feeling when you put from playing. It's a it's a playing thing, but it, yeah, it's just a bit. And then when you blend again, as Matt said, we've got the gain all the way off, but we do put it in a tiny bit every now and again. It's just a smidge, isn't it? So if I play without and then. That does everything, doesn't it, really? Yeah, that makes all the difference. And yeah. then the cool thing was when we were doing some more of the intense leady stuff, I'd just literally spin the gain up anywhere between quarter and halfway, somewhere around there, just to get that out. <laughs> because the, the one thing I've noticed about the classic vibe stuff is it's really good to play, it sounds fantastic, but it lacks a little bit of sustain because of the hard lacquer on the neck. Um, and so I pushed in a bit more gain to make that ring out when you... Forget about the wah. Let's not forget about the wah, Matthew. No, let's not do that. Right. Let me. We'll take off the tube screamer. Yeah.
can say from a sort of guitar playing standpoint, um, there isn't a bad part of this rig in terms of the feel and sound. It's like, you know, of course you could upgrade to a Mexican or a US or a custom shop if you've got the money, you know, but like the Tube Screamer, the Vox Wah, and that, the Blues Deluxe with a Fender style single coil, oh, it gets, it really gets you in that mood to just like, Blues out. Put 13s <laughs> on and raise your action this much, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd be wrong if I said this isn't the entirety of this rig. I total. believe it is the entire rig. Yeah. Um, it is simple and it, hopefully it's effective. So let us know how you think we did. And as usual, all of the gear is in the description box, links to it all, um, yeah. and you can find prices and all that stuff. Um, I'm just going to say this. I said this on the Jimmy one, but can we do a bide busting the bank of Steve Ray Vaughan? I think that'd be incredible. I think it'd be incredible. To be fair, I, I wonder how, I mean, it would sound amazing, but this still, for the money. You can't go wrong. You can't, you really can't. I'm not being funny, but for under 1500 quid, it is a killer rig. And I'm going to leave it at that. I've been Rabir. And I've been Matt. And this has been Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Bye. <laughs>